Hey, 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 Lori Gemini Tarot. I'm here to give you your pick a card reading. This is going to be messages from a loved one who has passed on, who has made it to the other side, whatever metaphor, phrase, whatever you would like to use. Uh, these are general collective readings. Uh, how we're gonna do this is that you're gonna pick from one of the five. Uh, just go ahead and focus and meditate on the energy that you're most drawn to. We do have pile one, which is the key. Then we do have pile two, which is the heart. We have the horn with pile three. Pile four is the rose quartz. And pile five is the sea shell. So in the description box below, there will be chapters, timestamps. You're going to go ahead and jump to whatever deck that you are drawn to and you will receive your messages. Hopefully these messages bring you some closure and gives you some sort of insight in order for you to heal and move forward. And just remember that grief never changes its form. It just changes its shape in time. So let's go ahead and dive into this. Hello, for those who picked the key, pile one, the messages we have for you. Right now you need to slow down and be still. It feels like there's a lot of distractions that you're trying to blind yourself with just to avoid feeling things just to avoid grieving over things. It just, you just, you don't wanna miss the message. They're trying to communicate with you and you just keep on ignoring it. Uh, you just keep on rushing through things, rushing things. Uh, calm down, calm down, okay? Uh, there's a lot of stress and tension and this is building up and I completely understand there's you're grieving there's a lot of obstacles in your way and the smallest inconvenience feels like the biggest ordeal and I remember feeling this way when uh, my mother passed and it took a while for me to get out of it and uh, it wasn't you know, for a few wake up calls, you know, with people who really do care about me, letting me know like, hey, like, you know, you need to chill out, you need to take a step back. You know, uh, I think when you just kind of slow down and take things at a pace, not everything needs to be accomplished within a day or within an hour. Uh, it's okay to go through the motions. Uh, they are cheering you on and they are here to help you achieve your goals. They know that where you're currently at is only temporary and you do not want to be stuck in the same situation. You don't want to be in the same predicament that you've seen other people uh, because of this and you're trying to better yourself. And it feels like there's so many obstacles and you're trying to accomplish so many things at once, but you got to remember that Rome wasn't conquered in a day. Like it took quite some time for Rome to be conquered, you know? So this person is always gonna be your cheerleader. They're always gonna be your coach going like, come on Rocky, come on, you know? They're always gonna be there. They're gonna always have your back. They see your struggles and they're here for you. And it's okay to ask for their help. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to talk to them, even though you feel like there's nobody there to talk to them, you know? and. Uh, getting out your feelings, your frustrations, your angers, the obstacles that are in your way, just things, just talking it out, talk to them. You know, you, you can get a lot of answers, you know. And congratulations are in order for you or from a family member. So there is a big accomplishment, whether if there's a birth, you've got the promotion, you've got the job, you're moving, you're relocating, you found that special person, you finally, uh, your startup business is finally growing, there's, you finally got your big gig, your big break, and there's a lot of things to celebrate, and it knows, I know that 
it feels like there's so many things that you have to do now, now because you have these new responsibilities, uh, these new things that are in your lap. Now you feel like you, you only have like a, such a short window of time to complete all these tasks. And take a step back, take a breather. Uh, you've got people that are cheering you on, including this person. And they see your struggles, they see your pain, they see your frustrations, and they're here for you and they're here to cheer you on. So that was your reading. If that resonated, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, and comment down below if you picked the key and let me know if this resonated with you. So please be safe, wash your damn hands, nanu nanu, I will see you soon. Hello, for those who picked pile number two, the heart, this is going to be a message from a loved one who has passed on. This individual still gives you kisses. Uh, they still kiss your forehead, your cheek, the top of your head. They love and care for you and they will never leave your side. They are proud of all your accomplishments, your goals, all the obstacles. They're amazed because they can't even do it themselves. You know, they wish that they could have accomplished the things that they wish that they had your courage when they were alive, when they were on this earth. And they're just so proud of you. You know, they're so proud of you because you took this disadvantage, you took this pain and you didn't let it defeat you. It, it, gave you a fire, a motivation, in order for you to uplift yourself, to level up in life. You know, it was almost as if you looked, you looked at me as an example, you looked at this person as an example and said like, I, I don't want to become like this person. I don't want to end up like, I don't want to have their fate. Uh, they're honored to have known you and they're proud of the person that you become. The coins that you see lying on the street or you find in the washing machine or just whatever everyday day life, those coins, this person is leaving them there for you. And when you see coins like on the street or whatnot, that is your ancestors, that's your spirit guides that's your loved ones trying to communicate with you. They're trying to tell you hello. They're trying to let you know that good fortune is on your way. They're trying to let you know that you're loved and protected. If they want to let you know I'm, that you may not be religious or you may have uh, become like an atheist or you question your faith, um, they want you to know if you pray or if you speak to the universe if you if you speak to them if you pray and if you just surrender you know you surrender and you and you just give them a leap of faith your prayers will be heard what you manifest what you wish what you desire what you pray on those things will come true but you need to have faith and you have felt this person, you know, and this person, they brush your hair away from your face. They don't like the fact that your hair blocks your eyes. You know, they love seeing your eyes and they, and, and they find it annoying when they can't see your smile. So they're always, they, they always tell you like they prefer that your hair is up or your, your hair is short or something like that. Just so people can see your face. And so when you think like something is tickling you or you feel like, like weirdness, like something's on your head, like this person is kissing you and this person is playing with your hair and they love you, it's, they know that in a way this person had to no longer be on this earth in order for you kind of like to have the fire in you in order for you to be motivated enough to 
to set your standards higher, if you will. So that was for deck number two for the heart. If that resonated, please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, and please comment down below if you picked pile number two, the heart, and if this message uh, struck a chord or struck a nerve in you in some way. So thank you for watching. Be safe. Wash your damn hands. Nana nana. Hello, for those who picked deck number three, the horn, this is going to be your message from a loved one who has passed on. Please release any bad memories about my passing. There may have been some bad blood or a falling out or some harsh words that were said to each other that you look back and you regret it. The interaction, you regret the words that you said or how things ended. Please know that I am at peace and you don't have to no longer have this experience rent space free in your mind. You saw someone just recently that you were, you saw someone that looked exactly like this person that passed. And, and I'm sorry, I may slip in and out with, uh, uh, you know, saying like uh, them or me or whatnot, and kind of just uh, picking up their energy and picking up their words. You saw someone that looked exactly like them and it freaked you out for a moment. It freaked you out because you, you, you had to take like a double take. It almost felt like it was like a doobie, like a Scooby Doo experience. And you, you, and you, and you felt like weird because you felt like you were creeping on this person or this, you were afraid like this person were, was going to be thinking of you like a freak, you know, because you, you were just so surprised, you know, just how this person looked so identical to this person that passed. And you've not, it's been a while since you've seen them. So it's almost as if you almost like in a little bit of a way you almost forgot what they look like. Like this person wants you to know that they arranged that. They arranged that meeting because it was meant to be. And there's why you keep on reflecting back of the regrets and doubts of your, the last experience or the relationship that you've had with this person like on again, off again, you know, they, they're trying to bring, this person is trying to bring closure to you in the best way that they can with the resources that they have because they're no longer on this earth. They are stressing to you that you need to take care of yourself. You need to get some rest. You need to sleep in, you need to drink more water, and you need to like move around because you kind of acting like Howard Hughes and just afraid to leave the house, afraid to interact and not taking a shower. Like you, you need to put yourself together. And it's just little small things of, you know, getting dressed, taking a shower, going for a walk. Those little small things help build you up. But it's a day, it's a day by day, hour by hour. You know, there is a divine plan for you. You may not see what's happening here and you think because of this person just kind of threw a wrench into things or just mixed up your crayons or just leaves you kind of lost and distraught. Just know that, I know this sounds super lame and just sounds like one of those stupid cliches that you see like a Hallmark card that everything happens for a reason, but it's true. Everything happens for a reason. And there is a reason why this event needed to shake up your life because there was huge changes that needed to happen. And unfortunately this person was part of that plan of having to perish on this earth in order for you to really define your full purpose and meaning in your life. This 
person that's passed on, they're studying and they're learning from their mistakes. And they want to make it very clear that they know that they were that they were bad. They know that they could not step up as a parent or as a partner or as a friend, as a colleague, and they know that they have a lot of really terrible flaws and a lot of ups and downs, ups and downs, and they know they disappointed you and others. But they want you to know that this, the next time around, the next rodeo, when they reincarnate you know, into this next life, they're not gonna make those same mistakes. They're not going to make those same mistakes, you know? And they just want you to know, you know, that they know better and they'll do better next time around. And they're sorry that they couldn't get, get it right this time around, you know? So that was your message uh, for those who picked the horn. If that resonated, please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell. And please comment down below if you picked number three and if it resonated with you. Uh, thank you for watching. Be safe. Wash your damn hands. Na 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. For those who picked deck number four, which is the rose quartz, this is going to be your messages from a loved one who has passed on. This person wants you to know that they, they appreciate how much all the detail that you went in to try to memorialize them. From the wake, to the funeral, from the flower arrangements, to what they wore. You know, respecting their wishes. Uh, from whether if they wanted to be buried or wanted to be cremated. This person they appreciate how much you went be above and beyond to try to honor them. It was almost as if like it was like the Klingon way. I don't know why I'm picking up like maybe they're like a Star Trek fan or something like that. But you just felt like it was out of principle. It was like for honor. It was out of principle. This person remembers you when you were when you were younger, when you were little, and they always have unconditional love for you. This parent, they will always love you. Whether they're blood, uh, you know, whether they're relation by blood, you know, whether it is a step parent, this person feels very close to you. Whether it was an aunt or an uncle or grandparent that was taking the role as a parental figure, but they have always loved you and there's nothing you could do to disappoint them or to make them not love you you know and it makes them so happy and it brings them peace to know that you're happy you're laughing and you're living your best life you're not you're not you're ex you accept the circle of life you know and with life there's death. It's kind of interesting, you know, you're born into diapers and then you die in your diapers <laughs> usually, you know? Um, it's just very interesting, the, the cycle and the circle of life and how things roll off. And even though, you know, you're not happy about the outcome, you know, you don't let this define you, you don't let this break you. And they want you to know if you ever fall or stumble or if there's any hard times, rough patches that you're going through in life, they will always be there for you. Even though they may not be physically there for you, they will always be there for you. And all you have to do is just start talking to them, you know, start talking to them and you'll hear them and they will answer to you and you'll receive the messages that you need and you'll receive the signs when they're available. And they see the gifts that you leave. You know, I do see like somebody has left, there's like a shrine, you know, or whether if you go to their gravestone and whether if you leave fresh flowers, 
or whether if you leave, you know, maybe like they, they're, they have like a favorite candy bar and you always make sure that you pick up a candy bar and you give it to them, you know, whether uh, you go out of your way to celebrate their life, to celebrate their birthdays, anniversaries, any accomplishments that you or they have or had, you still celebrate it. And you always let them know that they are not forgotten and they are loved as well. And they see that. So that was your message. Uh, so if you pick deck number four, the rose quartz, make sure you comment down below in the description box if you pick that and if the reading resonated with you. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching. Be safe. Wash your damn hands. Man, man, man. Hello for those who picked deck number five, this she shell. This is going to be additional messages from the universe, from somebody, uh, from a loved one who has passed on. Now, when you look at this person's picture, you feel their presence and you know that they are with you're always going to be connected to them, whether if you hold an object of theirs, uh, whether if you see a picture, whether if you see somebody that resembles them. You're, the connection that you have with this person is incredibly strong, that you will always sense them, and they are there with you. You need to trust your, yourself, and you need to take a leap of faith. This person will always support any endeavor that you do, whether if it's to start your own business, to move, to relocate, to try a new career endeavor, to try dating again, try uh, give this relationship a go, give it a shot, you know, give marriage a try, whatever the doubt that you have, I believe in you and I support you. That's what they want to tell you. Now the high pitch voice, the sound that you hear, and I know it's super annoying, it's super annoying, but I'm just here to let you know that that's yo, that's that person. They are trying to get your attention and you're not picking up on the signs. So they're having to do annoying sounds until you acknowledge them, until uh, you start listening to them because they're trying to get a hold of you. You know, they're trying to communicate to you. And they want to make it very clear to you that they're no longer struggling emotionally, physically, or spiritually. This person had, they had a lot of demons, you know, and they, they had a really traumatic upbringing. They had a very traumatic experience. You know what I'm talking about. And it always held them back. Like, the, the, they were never completely the same. Like, that trauma still they used to consume them, you know? And they had a lot of battles trying to fight those demons. And they want to make it very clear that they're no longer in pain or no longer suffering from that. They are healed now. And they are here to help you in every way. You need to trust them. You need to trust them. And I know that you don't physically see them. They're not around. And it kind of messes with you whenever you pick up a picture and you, you, know, and you see them. Or when you're touching an object. Or when you're touching their clothing. Or you're, you're smelling. You're smelling their shirt. You're smelling their jacket. And it still smells like them. And, you can, and it's almost as if like they're in the room with you. They're almost as if they're there. You know? And they're there to help you. Even though you can't see them, you can just ask for help. You can ask for help. And they'll always be there to respond. They'll do whatever they can. They love you. And they want you to be happy. So, I know they're annoying you with the help, with the high pitch squeal, that little noise that keeps on bugging you. I know you keep on doubting yourself. It's okay. Give it a shot. Give it a chance. 
and uh, this person is always with you, whether, no matter what, regardless if you're looking at a photo, or touching an object, or you know, smelling a piece of clothing, or something like that. And they're here to help you and guide you on your journey in life. So that was your reading. If you picked deck number five. If this resonated, please make sure you comment in the comment section below what deck you picked. And uh, hopefully this brings you some peace and some healing. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching. Be safe. Wash your damn hands. Nanu, nanu.